everyone to the professors. I almost said coalition of friends. But yes, you were on the coalition of friends. So, well, to the professors podcast. I'm Garrett. I'm drunk with Aaron. Hi. Right. And we're going to talk all about who knows? Mostly fantasy football, if anything, because today is Sunday, which means we have to get our teams ready. We have. Oh. Oh! I'm beating Ben! Dude! I'm up 100 points to 84.5. 100 even. Sorry, this is about fantasy hockey. I'm very excited. What happened yesterday? I can't see yesterday's scores. I'll just go to ESPN. <laughs> but, um, yes. So. How are you the highest scoring team in the league right now? Me? Yes. Because I don't know. And Austin's the lowest. I have more points than Austin. I've got someone on IR starting. Well, I'm not trying to be this good. It just happened. Ooh. Okay. Oh, dang it, we're only gonna get the Dolphins game at one. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Seems like they, I mean, I'll be happy next week when that's the only game they'll be on. Because I don't have to watch any other games because it's the one I care about. Mm-hmm. Okay, yesterday, Saturday, October 6th. Uh, actually, Panthers got a point after for yesterday's loss. Mm-hmm. They lost in overtime. I was asleep. Mm-hmm. Shootout. I was asleep for that game. I fell asleep mm. fairly early. Thanks, Austin, for having Provorov, who's not negative 0.8. <laughs> They're two games. Blackhawks won in overtime for the second game in a row, even though it's been two games. But, you know, go Chicago. Um, Jonathan Taze got it. Patrick Game got a goal and an assist. Excellent. Jonathan Taze got a hat trick. How is he this good again? He, he signed last year. Wow. Tay's got the last minute goal. Not only last minute. It was 6.59 into this third period. So, I don't know. But, go Chicago. Wow, this was an evenly matched game. They both had 30 shots on goal. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is exciting to watch. Golden Knights beat the Wild. Avalanche beat the Flyers. Ducks beat the Coyotes. Flames beat the Canucks. Canadians beat the Penguins. Ooh. Wow. Devils beat the Oilers. Where was this? Was this China? Or... Oh. A Sweden game. Mm Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so fantasy hockey, I'm doing very well, which is very good. Patrick Kane has is my leading point scorer, I believe. Oh, and Patrick Kane had another game tonight, so that was great. And then fantasy football. So what do you got going on with that? I have to fix one of my teams. I'm expected to lose two of my three leagues, but I will fix that. I don't think I will actually lose, though. I think I can win all three of them. I mean, that's what everyone thinks. Well, I think I can win all three of them. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to only have like a 32% chance to win our league, mm-hmm. me and Jacob, and now it's 45% because Sony Michelle mm-hmm. did very well, and I'm very happy about that. And then I really hope Kyle Rudolph does well today. I'm going to be very unhappy that I didn't play Gronkowski because Gronkowski got 10.5 points. And mm-hmm. um, don't start after writing. I'll go away. Oh. Whatever. The struggles of being on an iPhone. What are you doing? Did you just make a change? Mm-hmm. Yep, I just 
and your player. Mm -hmm. You need to go away, but I don't have anyone to replace you with. So. Okay, so here's who I got playing, and I can still change people out. So if we, if you think I should do that, let me know. Okay. Okay. So quarterback, I put Deshaun Watson in. Okay. And then I have DeAndre Hopkins and Cooper Cup as the wide receiver. Is it even Cooper? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay. And I have the other running wide receiver as Devontae Adams, who's not in. Right, but is in that. No, he's expected to play. Oh, that's right. Um, it's the other guys. Randall Cobb, who's not expected to play, I don't think. Mm -hmm. So should I play Adams or Cup? Alright, let's see. Rams are playing Seattle. Mm -hmm. Green Bay is playing Detroit. Mm -hmm. I think Rofante, I have your better choice. And then Cooper Cup. Mm -hmm. I mean, that will give me another projected point. Mm -hmm. So, maybe. Okay. I can't do anything with the flex because that was Sony Michelle who mm -hmm. was in the flex. And nope. TJ Yeldon is my flex. Sony Michelle was his second running back. Mm -hmm. And that's already passed. So I shall make a change for Vonta Adams and Cooper Cup. Which, okay. Now I have a 36% chance to win. Okay, so Cooper Cup is going back in. It went from a 45 to a 36%. <laughs> so I think Cooper Cup is staying in. Because okay. I like that higher chance of percentage. To fix next week. Okay. And then I have Ty Gurley as that running back that I can still move out. Mm -hmm. But he's obviously staying in because I'm not stupid. Because now I have. Um, both Los Angeles' pass and rushing uh, offense. Mm -hmm. And then I have Kyle Rudolph as the tight end, and I have TJ Yeldon as the flex. I have Matthew Bryant. It's just Matt, but I say Matthew. You probably use Matthew. What? You probably use Matthew. Mm -hmm. He's old. His picture's weird. He was like 39. He's got like a twisted face. Mm hmm. I look at it. It's kind of twisted. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then I've got the Philadelphia defense because Chicago's on a bye. So really, I don't care about football this week because mm -hmm. Chicago's not playing. All right, who do you got? Let me help you. I have, for our league, I have Jared Goff starting mm -hmm. over Drew Brees. Mm -hmm. I have Michael Thomas as my wide receiver one and Keenan Allen as my wide receiver two. Mm -hmm. My two running backs are Alvin Kamara and James Conner. Mm -hmm. My tight end is Jared Cook because Trey Burton's on a bye. Mm -hmm. My flex is Adam Thielen. I'm playing the Baltimore defense against Cleveland Browns. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't know how I'll be I think I don't know if that's right or wrong, so I mean you know more for football, so <laughs> I believe what <laughs> I would put Dalvin Cook in, but he's hurt. Mm -hmm. None of my other wide receivers are better than people I have in. Kyle Rudolph is only two stars. Mm -hmm. Which I don't like. Should put Rukowski. But that stupid injury that he was put had this ankle injury that he had mm -hmm. earlier. I don't like being in second place in this league. I am okay with being fourth because I there's nobody else in the league. So. I have an eighty point lead over Austin, mm -hmm. but yet I'm in second place. Not eighty. It's like eighty two and point eight. 81.18 What? 
Ya, dia lah. Oke, ya, 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 ya. I mean, I still have a lead over Austin, point wise. Everyone has a lead over Austin. Is so far behind everybody. No. He's pretty. He's almost, almost like ten. Nine he's, he's almost ten points behind you. Okay, but that's not that far. Like, let's look. How many points does Austin have? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he should have played Tom Brady. Absolutely should have. He really should have. Instead of Cam Newton. Although Cam Newton will do well. Mm -hmm. Unless somehow the New York Giants win a game. <laughs> have they won a game yet? Yes. They have. They're one in three, I believe. Mm. But yeah, that's like that. And then my other leagues, I think I'm fine. I'm just, wow! I might win a hockey game. <laughs> that's... Amazing. But I think I'm okay being fourth. I'm like perfectly fine with that. Dang, I'm still undefeated in this league. Really? It's amazing how stacked You're our teams are. You're the only undefeated one. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how stacked our league is with only four people. Because mm -hmm. I'm the leading scorer. Where I'm at 580 points. Yeah. The I'm leading indeed. scorer in this league has 516 yeah. Okay. How good is that team? Pat Mahomes, Michael Thomas, Adam Thielen, Saquon Barkley, Jimmy Graham, Juju. Wow, no one's even broken 500 yet. Closest is 499.5 in this league. How about this one? And I'm at 433. This one, the highest, is at 520. And he's a long way ahead of everybody There's else. someone who's 0-4 in this league. There's someone that's 0-4 in Who do you have league? on your team? Mm -hmm. You have Ben Roethlisberger, Emmanuel Sanders, Robert Woods, Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon, Jimmy Graham, why? <laughs> Keelan Cole, Robert Gold, and the, okay, you have the Minnesota defense. Jeez, this guy, this team is terrible. This guy's 0-4 in one of my leagues. Mm -hmm. He's got Philip Rivers. Odell, Adam Thielen, Adrian Peterson, Aaron Jones, Jimmy Graham, Amari Cooper, Robbie Gold, the kicker for San Francisco, and De the Denver defense. I mean, that's not terrible. His entire bench. Running back, wide receiver, running back, wide receiver, running back, wide receiver. I mean, he that's drafted it. well. That was probably an auto draft, probably. it sounds like. Yeah. No, Odell was his first pick. Adam Thielen was probably his second Mm hmm I just need a winning week. I need to win two out of the three games at least, and that be one that counts. But dude, hockey. How's Austin's team doing? Let's give Austin's Austin's update. team is doing trash. He's got fifty-eight <laughs> points. Cause Brad Bozer, I think it's Brad Brock Bozer for the Vancouver Canucks has a negative one point two points. He has Rasmus Dahlin. Is it a negative point two? <laughs> first overall pick. This is negative in the first week of games. How many games have they had? Oh. No, not the Bills. Um. Say a prayers. They played New York. They've played two games and they're one and one. And he's a negative point two. He's just not gonna have a good first season, I think. So far. Mm -hmm. I mean maybe he'll turn it around, but what's he done? In their game against Boston, mm -hmm. he was negative one on yeah. the day. Mm -hmm. In their game against the Rangers, he had two shots on goal, which was a positive point eight. Yeah, making it a negative point two. Mm -hmm. So, Buffalo Sabers are almost to their fiftieth year. Nice. Next year, no, two years, twenty twenty. It'll be fifty years. 
So that's an interesting fact for those listening. If oh my god, what the heck? What? Look how many points Nathan McKinnon got yesterday. 8.8 zero. zero. I lost track of how many zeros that is real fast. 8.8 Wow. I think I missed one. One goal and assist, a plus one, seven shots on goal. How? I hope that actually, like, wins me this week. How do you see that points? Wait, you is click that on, on your them. team? Is that on your team? Yeah, you go up. Can you only do that for your team? No. You click so on the player. Jonathan Martha And click game log. Game log. And I'll show you what they do in every game. Interesting. Let's see if any Patrick Kane. Wait, so does that mean Austin has like a huge decimal? That he can just fill in? It'll watch that point zero 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 whatever one. Mm-hmm. Be what like breaks a tie. <laughs> How do I have an even a hundred? <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yo, know, I think I can win this league. I got this. Did you get a gold show check? No, you, you got, got an assist. assist. And two penalty minutes and three shots on goals. Not terrible. I think that's what PIM means, right? Penalty minutes. Okay. Do I have the most points? Oh, you already said that, yeah. Jamie wow. Ben, Jesus. What? Jamie Ben. Who's that? He's for the Dallas Stars. Mm hmm. He has 22.2 points so far. Whoever has Jonathan Hayes is very happy. Well, yeah, because like Dallas Stars went 5 1 mm -hmm. against one Yeah, he had two goals and an assist in one game. Yeah, so Dallas is doing really well. Who has Jonathan Hayes? I'm going to okay. go through. Um. I think it's his dad, right? Austin's dad. I'm looking. No. Jonathan Taze is a free agent. <gasps> he is? Mm -hmm. Ooh. He's at 22.8 points. Yeah. For th He has four goals and an assist already. Mm-hmm. He, he got a hat trick yesterday. Yeah, he's a free agent. I don't know. I don't know where he could trade. What is his position? Is he center? Um. He's a center. Mm -hmm. I have Vincent Trochak, <laughs> Eric Stahl. Um. I don't have any centers on my bench. Bunch. Oh, but I have Jonathan Marsh, so, who's also a center, but I play him as a left wing. Mm hmm Hmm. I don't know. I feel like you're going to try and pick him up at the same time. I mean, do I need a center? I have Nate McKinnon, Anze Kopitar, and then Backstrom and Jeff Skinner on my bench. I don't really need a center. Yeah, probably. Oh, by the way, there are four Earths. <laughs> four of them. One, two, three, and four Earths. You're welcome. The team was founded during the 1960s. The um, Dallas Stars was founded as the Minnesota North Stars, based in Bloomington, Minnesota. When did they move to Dallas? Also, why does Dallas have a hockey team? <laughs> why does Miami have a hockey team? Miami or South Florida hockey, 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 hockey team. Florida. It's Sunrise. Why does Sunrise for it? Out yeah, of all the cities in South Florida, <laughs> choose Sunrise. That's cheap land. I don't know what I was 
Anyways, that is a very, I think that's all a fantasy. But now, I want to hear your take on The Good Place. Where do you think it's going? What have you liked about it so far this third season? So far. I'm, I'm just gonna say I hate watching it like this. <laughs> no, but it's when so... When it was week, it's so... That's because it's... It's infuriating. I forget what's happening, and then they restart it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what happened. Oh, yeah. That's what I... Because I don't remember things mm -hmm. about TV shows, mm -hmm. unless I'm watching them a lot. I mean, if you really need to, we could just watch... We watched the episode previous on Hulu... <laughs> in that half hour before. Mm. So really, we get an hour of the good place every week. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean... Yeah, as, uh, like it's, they do that little recap at the beginning. That's mm -hmm. enough for me. Really? Yeah. Wow. If I see that, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. But I don't just remember off the top of my head. But I like it. I like the season. I like how they're doing it. Okay, and for the listeners, how are they doing? <laughs> oh, by the way, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. I love the ending of the last episode. Mm -hmm. That was hilarious. Mm -hmm. That was great. It's such a smart show. It is. It's really, really smart writing. And they use the writers talk with the philosopher for each episode. Mm -hmm. Like when they deal with the philosophy stuff, they want to make sure they get it right. Mm -hmm. So they talk with professors, um, people who write authors of philosophy and everything. Mm -hmm. They do their research, which is like Big Bang Theory, which is done very well. But this is like the first like sitcom situation comedy that rides on cliffhangers. Mm -hmm. They use cliffhangers so well. It's like every episode ends in a cliffhanger, and mm -hmm. I hate it. Because we have the season three premiere ending with Trevor coming back. That's Adam Scott's character. Mm -hmm. And then we ended this episode off with... Um, okay. Well, that wasn't my fault. So. <laughs> I've never seen one do that. But okay then. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm gonna spike the sound <laughs> of that. that. <laughs> yes. Well, that might be because of me. But. <laughs> <laughs> um. Movies are really distracting, I just gotta say. <laughs> this is really distracting. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I said it the same. <sighs> it's really confusing. Ooh, that goal though. That tried, or maybe it was a save, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. Hold on. Um, we're good, no videos now. <laughs> Um, no, who do you like best? Who's your favorite character? My favorite character? You can include, like, any character so far, because I think I have one. Okay. I'm horrible with names, mm -hmm. but... If you have to, you can describe them. Michael. Michael? He's my favorite, I think. Like, Michael? That's a good choice. I like him. To dance in is very good. Mm. I love Simone. Because Simone is a fantastic addition mm -hmm. to the show. I love the fact that even though, with spoilers, <laughs> um, with the season two finale that Eleanor and GD got together, not really they kissed, but I mean, I could guess that's getting together. I don't know. They kissed and then had their lives completely reset. Mm -hmm. So. Which sucks. For <laughs> us. Because then there's the whole emotional charge that 
um, we've had for the past two seasons. What's your favorite thing? Not the like favorite thing they've done at all. Like maybe it could be a joke, um, favorite scene. Mm-hmm. Because I have one scene I really enjoy that's not my favorite, mm-hmm. but it's on the top of the list. Mm-hmm. I liked. I know this sounds. This is a really stupid thing to like, but I really liked Michael's interactions with the doorman. <laughs> Those mm-hmm. were all. Every time that came up, that was an awesome scene. Mm-hmm. And it pays off, dude, because mm-hmm. the doorman gives him the key mm-hmm. that cannot yeah. be duplicated. No. Yeah. Because it says do not duplicate. Yeah, there's a frog stuck to it. <laughs> Which, oh man. Uh, my favorite thing in season three so far was the MRI scene with Eleanor, GD, and Simone. Mm-hmm. When they're questioning GD and Eleanor butts in. And it, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, yes, that's a good and it was It's a perfect rom com written scene. And then um, when Chidi's first in Simone's office and he can't choose the chair mm-hmm. and he sits down mid- and like <laughs> changes it mid-sentence mm-hmm. and without even stopping talking, yeah. that was brilliant. <laughs> what I did is so good. But I think I just, I love this show. It's so good. And you haven't seen the whole thing. Yeah. You've seen like maybe the last episode of the seasons and one on. Mm-hmm. Maybe second to last. I don't remember where you started watching, but I. I definitely didn't see most. I definitely missed most of it. Yeah, but I've rewatched. That was maybe the fifth time going through the first season, mm-hmm. and then like second time going through season two. Mm-hmm. Cause like it's such an easy bingeable show. Oh, it is. Cause it's, the episodes are short, one, mm-hmm. and there's only thirteen episodes per season, which I wish there wasn't. But like, I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. Because that means the show can last longer because I'm doing less per season. Mm-hmm. Even though they do a lot per season. I do, they do a lot. A season. Where mm-hmm. do you think it's going? I think... I don't know. Okay, I is... think... Here, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make it easier for you. Okay. Give like a season three ending, mm-hmm. how you think it's gonna end, and then give a series ending, how you think it's gonna end. I think. Oh, I have to come up with my answer now. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like for series ending. Mm-hmm. I feel like. I feel like at some point all the characters are going to die. All the humans are going to die. Again? Again. And they're going to wind up together. Whether it's a good place or bad place, they're going to wind up together. Mm Mm-hmm. I think that's how the series is going to end. The series? Mm -hmm. You think the series is just going to be them dying on Earth? Because I think we're going back to a good place before that. We might. But I think in the end it will be... Well, because Where this is an experiment, yeah. so whenever the judge, uh, we could, it could even end next episode. Mm-hmm. Next episode, they could wind back up in the judge's place, because she can easily just go like, mm-hmm. she could easily just do that, and like bring them back. That's what she was planning on doing. No, actually, she wasn't, because she had said that she was going to take Michael and Janet. Also, Janet. Mm-hmm. Wow. Janet's going to be important. Because she's going to be very important. Because she's becoming more human every episode. Mm-hmm. Calling like the judge mommy mm-hmm. and like try it out and calling Michael dad. Very good as well. <laughs> That's very good. Good joke. But I don't know. Cause it's a story about Eleanor. We see it through Eleanor's perspective. Mm-hmm. Eleanor's the main character. Or our protagonist. And then, but then they say, what? No, I was looking at it. Okay. It seemed like that was moving faster than once every second. Like the time? Yeah. I don't know. It feels like a really fast second. (laughs) (laughs) Like we haven't been talking for half an hour at this point. Um, I think the show is going to end with 
Eleanor in The Good Place. I don't think she's going to be with Chidi. Mm -hmm. And I think Jason and Tom are going to be together. Mm -hmm. In a medium place together. That's not possible, is it? I thought that wasn't possible for people to have a medium place but together. But what if them together makes each other medium? I mean, maybe. Well, who's Jason? Oh, he is a criminal. That's what his name <laughs> was. Because Eleanor is selfish. Uh, Chidi's indecisive. Dahani's... All of herself. Yeah, and attention. Mm -hmm. Needs attention. And then Jason is just... He's just a criminal. He's a criminal. But then why was his test to play against the Jacksonville Jaguars and win? That doesn't make sense. I mean, really, the answer to the test was, oh, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. Which, why didn't they, like, fail him immediately then? Yeah. Right? Yeah, he wants to make him play the whole game. Like, oh, well, you shouldn't have played in the first place. Mm-hmm, because the Tennessee Titans suck. <laughs> <laughs> you fall in the first thing? Oh, my God. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And I just love how much they make fun of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, gives the Jaguars so much more press. Mm-hmm. Because I think they get paid. No matter, I think maybe, or maybe they're paying them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But. I felt like that was really weird timing, I guess. That Jacksonville actually got good. That they were making fun of Jacksonville. Will Jacksonville be good? No, never. They're going to suck. And mm -hmm. then they're actually halfway decent. And because then the show talks about that. They're like, oh yeah, Blake Bortles is actually yeah. decent. Because they finished, like, the season three yeah. has already been completely filmed. Yeah. They finished filming in July. So, them, like, the judges, oops, the judges' reaction. Yeah. Look at that. It's always been like that. Has it? Yeah. I feel like we should flip it around. <laughs> Put it over there. Um... Because the judges' reaction of Jacksonville being good was because of last season. Mm -hmm. Like, the way the episodes have come out, it's been, you could say, for this year, but mm -hmm. it was last year. Yeah. Because this which, was... Which is really cool that they, even in this fictitious world, the writer's like, hey, this is a weird thing. Let's highlight this. It's because Jacks, I mean... In the judges' perspective, time is still good. Yes. But in the world of everyone else, it's still 2017 now. Mm -hmm. The show started in 2016, mm -hmm. which is when they died. Yeah. And it's been a year. So it's 2017 on Earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like how they blame um, like them not dying. For mm -hmm. weird things happening, Jacksonville being good. Mm -hmm. um, Britain left Europe. Which they didn't. No, they didn't. They left the European Union. Yeah, so I guess that's kind of... I guess it's easier to just say they left Europe, Europe. than to say, oh, they left the European, European Union. And then... Because no a lot of people aren't going to know what that means. So mm -hmm. if they say, oh, Britain left Europe, that's somewhat true yeah in a weird way mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> the P.T. Barnum musical which I forgot what it was called <laughs> The Greatest Showman Greatest Showman yes did got 400 million which is true mm -hmm. so they're just saying that because of the deaths these are why yeah so I guess they're trying to tie it and make jokes of what's been going on mm -hmm. but I think season 3 I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I know, I feel like I know how the whole thing's going to end, but I don't know how they're going to get there. I feel like Eleanor is going to end up being a judge. Being the judge? Yeah. Like, something's going to go wrong with the judge, and Eleanor is going to take up, or maybe Michael, mm -hmm. Michael or Eleanor, or maybe even Janet. Mm -hmm. One of those three is going to become the judge. Mm -hmm. And that's going to how we end the series, possibly. I can see that. I just don't know what they could do, because they could introduce anything. Mm -hmm. Anything into the show. Yeah. 
and make it like maybe they go to the good place season four. Maybe that's what they end mm-hmm. season three is they go to the good place, and then they are in the good place and they realize we don't like this. Mm-hmm. This is stupid. Yeah. Or maybe they're all in their separate good places, and then they have to tie it together uh-huh. as one good place. Mm-hmm. Because now, well, no. Because this is an experiment, again. So, they won't have the memories of being together on Earth. Yeah. Or maybe they will, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about this show, is the writing is so creative and well thought out that there's really no indication of where we're going mm-hmm. long term. I mean, Michael Schur, the creator of the show, who also did Parks and Recreation, and maybe the authors? I don't know. I'm gonna Google that. Sure. Did he create the office? His work on the NBC series The Office, Parks and Recreation, The Good Place, which he created. Okay, good. Okay. So he worked on The Office. How did he work on The Office? Was he just a writer on The Office? I think he wrote it. All QBs go to hell. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's more important than this. An NFL conversation with the Good Place creator Michael Schur. The Jacksonville Jaguars are good now, which has changed a few things in the Good Place writer rooms. And a Jacksonville. <laughs> so if Jacksonville stays good, will they go to London still? Probably. The Jacksonville Jaguars don't suck. Jackson lead of Jason Mendoza confidently argues in the second season of The Good Place. All we need is a defense and an offense and some rule changes. Oh, this is from The Ringer, by the way. Um, since that episode, Leap to Faith, aired in November 2017, the following has transpired. The Jackson, the Jaguars got a defense led by Pro Bowl quarterback, cornerback and trash-talking extraordinaire Jalen Ramsey. The team scored in the the team was second in the NFL in total takeaways and yards allowed, and first in points allowed per game and defensive DVOA. Uh, it's a statistic. Okay. They also got an offense, Ooh, and with some help of rule changes. Hold on. They also got an offense. And with the help of some rule changes, Blake Bortles went from being football's best joke to a fully functioning quarterback. Jason somehow was right. The Jacksonville Jaguars don't suck. The team went 10-6 in 2017 and came within one quarter of beating the New England Patriots and making it to the Super Bowl. The success is carried over to the 2018 season. The Jags have started out 3-1 and one and have already exacted revenge on the Patriots when 31-20 to 20 on the back of a 36-yard for a touchdown performance from Bortles. That's definitely 376 yards, not 36 yards and four touchdowns. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> what did I say? You said 36 yard, four touchdown performance from Bortles. That would be amazing. That's what it says. 376. You said 36. <laughs> <laughs> you threw for 36 yards and four touchdowns. He could, it's possible. It's completely possible. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to re-listen to that. I don't know whether that happened or not. Anyways, this mind-blowing turn of events has caused some issues for the Good Places creator Michael Schur and his team of writers. When they first started making the existential comedy in 2016, 2015, it seemed like a guarantee they'd be able to make fun of the Jags and Jason's admirable, hilariously stupid optimism for years. But everything's all upside down. The Jacksonville Jaguars are good now. Maya Rudolph's judge declared with the utmost belief in tonight's episode, The Brainy Bunch. That's a very good episode for a title. Mm-hmm. Even though, I, I don't even know if they had episode titles before. Yeah. I thought they were just chapters. Well, apparently they did because they had one for that first episode where they talked about the Jaguars. Yeah. Ted Danson's Michael responded with just as much incredulity. I don't know. Impossible. That's what he says. Ahead of the episode, I spoke with Sure about the Good Place's <coughs> journey with the Jacksonville Jaguars, how the writing room has come to terms with the team's success, and also if he thinks Baker Mayfield <laughs> end up in the bad place. 
I wanted to ask first, is Jason from Jacksonville because of the Jaguars, or did all that sync up? No, Jacksonville J came first. We wanted him to be from Florida because I've had a long time obsession with Florida, and Jacksonville seemed like the least trotted territory of the Florida canon, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of other places. You could have done, like, Destin, Tampa. <laughs> Um, Florida's not just Miami and Orlando and West Palm Beach. There's a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. um, I was skipping the rest of the paragraph because I don't want to read any more of that. So then the article goes on to say, and then he realized, oh, the Jab bars. Joe Mand was like, oh, he's got to be a Jab fan. He's got to love Bortles. He needs to have drunk the Kool-Aid of our first round pick, Blake Bortles. He's the savior. He's our guy. I don't want to read the rest of this article because it's now just a Q&A. Mm -hmm. But, oh really, the Jaguar started to get good like as soon as we started writing the show. <laughs> um... Wow, they filmed the whole thing of, I have one question that I need to ask. Did the Jacksonville Jaguars win the Super Bowl last year? Michael asks and says, oh, you are serious. No, they didn't. Jason says, will they ever win the Super Bowl? Michael's response was, Jason, I can't predict the future, but no. No, they won't. They filmed that the previous year, and they almost went to the playoffs. They almost won. They almost went to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. They were a quarter, a ten, they were ten points away from going to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Which would have been such a good Super Bowl still. Yes, it would have been. Jacksonville and Eagles. That would have been so much better because Jacksonville actually has a defense. <laughs> yeah, it would have been as high scoring. Not nearly. They would have destroyed Nick Foles. Mm -hmm. And Blake Bortles may have thrown the game away. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you. I try not to say it's right now because I don't want to edit that. <laughs> Straight to the mic. Oh man. <laughs> well, I think it's the kind of thing when they were like 5 of 11 was like, we're a one linebacker away from the <laughs> Super Bowl, right? Is that even true? Can one linebacker change of everything? Yes, they can. Just look at Luke Keekley. <laughs> in episode 4 of this season, you get to see some of his fandom in all of its glory. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. I was just about to ask why they weren't, why Jason wasn't super excited about the Jags being good yet this season. But I guess they're gonna highlight that pretty soon. Keep in mind I'm off of the NFL right now and the shorter answer is they're all going to the bad place because they're football players. But I'll give you my impression. Okay, Josh, Allen. Josh Allen. Um, going to the good place because he plays for a long suffering franchise. He went to a small school and he's been underrated his entire life. Sam Darnold, going to the bad place. He plays for the Jets and then went to University of South Carolina. Southern California. Ah. Oh, and he has a weird giant monster head. <laughs> <laughs> Baker Mayfield. Baker's tough because he's kind of an asshole, right? He's kind of a macho dingus. But he plays for the Browns, and if he could actually lead the Browns to respectability, that's a huge boost of him. Being the savior of a long-suffering franchise, I mean, part of the good place point system is it's cumulative. So, thinking about the number of good place points, if you get to lead the Browns to a playoff game, to a winning season even, because of the number of people you're making happy, that's a huge boon, right? They've been so miserable for so long. So I think he started off in a deep hole because he seems like a kind of testosterone matcha. Oh, I can't read that sentence. So I think he started off in a deep hole because he seems like a testosterone up macho dude. Douche. Douche. <laughs> Same. But if he can keep it together and lead the Browns through respectability, that's what's going to really help his case. Josh Rosen. Uh. I don't know. I don't think you can grade him yet. I think it's an incomplete. Bad place. Goodbye, Josh Rosen. Who's Josh Rosen? He's at the Cardinals. He's the one that 
after the draft, he's like, oh, there were nine mistakes taken ahead of me because he was 10th overall because mm-hmm. he wanted to be the first overall pick. He's just arrogant and full of himself. Who does he play for? He plays for the Cardinals. Did he play yet? He, yes, he has. And he lost that game, right? Yes, he Against did. Seattle? Yes, he did. Okay. He's not very good. Lamar Jackson is going to the good place. Wow. Because all black quarterbacks are going to the good place. Oh, okay, but he gives good reason why. It's just the number of times that a black quarterback has had to face insults of slights and just kind of racist BS that gets thrown at them from professional people who are professionally paid to come on the football. He won a Heisman, and then Bill Pullen on television said he should be a wide receiver. Ooh, that's rude. They've said that a lot about him. <laughs> so Bill Pullen, Pullian? Pullian. Uh, definitely going to the bad place? Yes. That's what he says. I don't know why I'm reading this, so oh, it's over. Okay. <laughs> I definitely think Baker Mayfield is not going to the bad place. He is, he's been through too much in his life. Mm-hmm. What did you do for The Office? He was a writer. He was a writer for The Office, writer for Parks and Rec, writer for The Good Place, writer for Saturday Night Live a couple times. No, writer for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mm-hmm. Writer for Black Mirror, really? Ooh, he did an episode of Black Mirror. Interesting. A couple episodes of Saturday Night Office, Live. The Accountants? Was that a spinoff series? It may have been. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it is. $3,000 have missing, gone missing from Dunder Mufflin. Really? One season. Oh, but I think they're like shorts. Yeah. Okay. Back. Producer, actor, director, soundtrack, miscellaneous crew, thanks, self. Oh, can they do that again? Saturday Night Live weekend update halftime <laughs> special. Oh, please. Mm. That would be so funny to watch. <sighs> oh, well. He won two primetime Emmys. When did he win? Nominee, nominee, nominee. Phony, nominee, 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 nominee. Winner, Winner. for The Office in 2006. Winner, Winner for Saturday Night Live mm-hmm. for writing. Okay. It was pretty well deserved. Are you serious? He didn't get. I mean, he got nominated for Parks and Recreation. Mm hmm. <sighs> okay. Well. I don't know. You having fun? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you gotta take that video. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> and throw it in the trash. <gasps> Did it actually go into the trash? No. <laughs> Goodbye. Hi. Yeah. Um. Yes. So, I think that is all. I don't know what else to talk about. Do you have anything you want to talk about? I don't really have anything to talk about. Okay, cool. So thank you for listening to this podcast episode. This has been Garrett with Aaron. Hi. And please watch more of my videos. Maybe more will come out soon. I don't know. It's midterm week, so I have a lot of free time. Um, and... And The Walking Dead starts up again. Ooh. So we can talk about that later on. Ooh, yes. In the future. How long, how many episodes do you think are going to be in this season? No, how many, do you think Rick's going to stay till mid-season? I think he'll, I think mid-season will be when Rick leaves. Really? I think so. I want it to be a shocker when him die this episode. <laughs> I don't think they'll do that, although, I mean, they did that with Carl. Well, he came back for one episode well, yeah. after mid-season. Yeah. Because that was his episode. Yeah. But... He was really gone early on. I don't think they'll do that for Rick. I think there's, I think they still have to, 
reestablish after what happened in the season finale, and then Rick will go. I don't like the fact that they're making a schism in between everyone. Mm -hmm. There's going to be two sides and they're going to fight. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, no. Stupid. But anyways, have a good day, y'all. Bye.